do you think size matters? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Proportion actually is more important than size. <laughs> yes, it's got to fit well in your space. Do you think size matters though? Uh, well, it depends who you talk to. Um... <laughs> Sorry, ask me that again, ask me that again. <laughs> How much do you think size matters? In terms of trying to fit it within a confined space? <laughs> Everybody gets uncomfortable on that question. <laughs> Does size matter when it comes to furniture design? Well, it was certainly the topic of conversation at Avenue Magazine's second annual Design Inside the Box competition in Edmonton. The challenge is for local designers to design something that is aesthetically pleasing, uh, as well as um, accessible to a mainstream audience. And the furniture had to fit inside a 4x4x4 four by four by four box. The five finalists were competing for a trip to New York City for the International Contemporary Furniture Fair. Transportation is, is really key in, in uh, design today and for sustainability designers really need to think about how much it costs to ship an object and uh, this, co this contest actually helps uh, designers focus on that. I think a lot of the uh, houses these days people are living in uh, smaller accommodations so I try to think smaller to begin with, so I just went with a smaller coffee table. It's only about 36 inches uh, in diameter, so it can fit into a wide variety of spaces. And there's definitely a turn toward a simpler or cleaner design appeal, and so I think that the idea of, of um, having a lot of excess stuff in your home is sort of going the way of the dodo, and now it's just about having a tidy, cleaner, but aesthetically a pleasing home. furniture like this there's definite use for it and it's probably a growing use now that a lot more people are moving towards downtown areas. I'm more of a minimalist where it's the, the single pieces that really bring out the quality of the space and not kind of the quantity. And I find that uh, the smaller you can make an object the cheaper it ships so it, it makes sense. Yeah I think that's uh, just the direction of uh, the market right now you know people trying to get into their into housing for the first time they're kind of forced to buy into smaller houses right now or uh, empty nesters that are moving down to smaller homes as well. Andrea Leitner was the champion this year. However, Avenue readers deemed Robert Faulkner's flow chair as their favorite. We want to get people in Edmonton to, um, to appreciate excellence in design and to understand that there is a community of designers here.